it, it, you know, a lot of people who go into chaplaincy come from clergy experience already where they've been a pastor for a, a number of years or they've been in seminary and they get attracted to chaplaincy. It sounds like you actually got attracted to chaplaincy in the context of your Air Force experience. Can you kind of mm -hmm. tell us what it was that influenced uh, you to become a chaplain? Well, it, you know, and, and again, um, I, uh, I really received a call to ministry at this missions conference that I went to with Denise uh, back in the, in the early 80s. And, and then it was a matter of kind of figuring out what do I do with this? And, and, uh, and I pastored the church for a couple of years. And quite frankly, I've, I've, I, I loved what I was doing. I absolutely adored the people. And, and there was something very fulfilling about being a local pastor. But in my heart of hearts, I just I felt like there was something, something else. And, uh, and that opened the door to, to military chaplaincy. And, and, and for me personally, um, you know, I love the church and I love the liturgy and I love the ways in which my particular denomination does worship and, and kind of organizes ministry and, and mission and so forth. Uh, but for me, and, and maybe it's because I've got a short attention span and maybe it's because I'm, a little uh, OCD or something, but I just, for me, the variety of experiences was what attracted me to the chaplaincy. Um, you know, my first congregation as an active duty chaplain was a was uh, a, about 30 B-52 crews. Uh, this, this was my church, and these are the guys I hung around with all the time. I flew with them all the time. I've got hundreds of hours in a B-52, and, and 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 you know and these were this is my family and we had we had tragedy strike on numerous occasions and there was no question as to who was going to be their pastor and walk them through those difficult times and we uh we celebrated good times and we cried during bad times together but i still stay in, in contact with some of these guys and and to me that is the greatest privilege of being a chaplain is the variety of experiences um, and, and to do so uh, in the context of, 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 of being around some amazing Americans who, quite frankly, have literally sworn to support and defend, even with their life, uh, if, if need be. And, uh, and, you know, again, my military uh, background, I got a taste of this as an enlisted troop. You know, my love of airplanes and mostly my love of the people who fly these airplanes and maintain them and and do the support mechanisms uh, around that. Um, this this is where my soul led me. My heart was quite frankly restless until it it got to hang around a bunch of aviators all day long. And and um, and and for me, um, you know the the deployment, you know five deployments, and we're living in our twentieth house right now, and you know living all over the world, and and having our kids grow up in this environment. Uh, I wouldn't trade a thing. And, and um, so for me, um, the variety of ministry experiences uh, was one that I knew I would never experience in a local pastor, pa parish. And, and again, I have every, every degree of respect for the pastor, local pastor, who does that and does that well. Um, but for me personally, the variety is what I was, my heart was, was searching for, and, and I got it in spades in, in the Air Force. Wow. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm.